is hurt each other with our words and actions. Words and actions have the power to do one of two things. Damage and destroy, or help and heal. Did you hear that? Words and actions have the power to do one of two things. Damage and destroy, or help and heal. So I ask you now, and I need a loud, audible, resounding answer from all of you. What will your words and your actions to those you know, love, don't know from Adam, don't even like you from today on? Damage and destroy or help and heal? Help and heal. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. There it is. Give these kids a round of applause. I wanted to tell him the truth. 
I wanted to tell the one man who loved me more than anybody in the world the truth. Did I? No. Once again, I silenced my pain. And I wish I hadn't, guys. I wish I'd told the truth. For all of you in this audience who are dealing with yourself with mental pain, brain pain, I call it. And for all of you who are not that love those who do and care about their well-being, I want you to know something. You don't have to learn the hard way like I did. I went to the Golden Gate Bridge that day on the 25th of September, 19, and child. And I left off. It was at the millisecond of free fall. The millisecond my hand left the rail, my legs quitted, that I had instant regret for my actions and the 100% recognition that I just made the greatest mistake of my life and it was too late. Somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 people or more have died off that bridge, no matter who tells you otherwise. For all the bodies washed away to sea, or the ones eaten by fish to the bone, that are never found or caught or, or, or counted. I fell 220 feet, 25 stories, at 75 miles an hour. And the only thing I thought on the way down was to realize it's time to die. God, God, please save. I hit that water. The impact of rubber into my legs and shattered my T12, L1, and L2 lower vertebrae into shards like glass. I missed that day's celery, my spinal cord, by two millimeters. Show me a millimeter with your hands right now, 100%. Show me, come on, come on. Show me a millimeter with your hands. I swam at the surface only using my arms, my legs were immobile. I got closer and closer to the lit surface water above me, and I thought I wasn't going to make it. I'm going to die today, and I don't want to. And something inside me said, no, Kevin. No, Kevin, you can't die today. If you die today, no one will ever know you didn't want to. And no one will ever know that you knew you made a mistake. I broke the surface, I bobbed up and down the water, and I did the one thing I've had control over since kindergarten. I prayed. God, please save me. I don't want to die. I made a mistake. On repeat. Whether you believe or not, that's not the problem. I, I believe, and he heard me. You see, a woman driving by in a red car saw me over that rail, and she immediately called her friend of the United States Coast Guard, who happened to be tied to the unit that was manning the waters that day. The reason they got to me in less than the time it would set for me to set hypothermia and drown was because of that woman making that phone call. In the waters, I failed to stay afloat. Something began to circle beneath me. Something large, slimy, and very alive. I remember thinking to myself, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I didn't die from the Golden Gate Bridge and the shark is going to eat me. <laughs> no! So I punched this thing and it wouldn't go away. So sort of faster and faster, no longer was I waiting in the water. I'm lying on my back on top of me and kept buoyant by this thing, thinking, when are you going to bite me? This is one heck of a nice shark. <laughs> what would you do in that situation? I would tell you what I did right then, right there. I named him Herbert. <laughs> Either that or Mortimer, I think wisely. <laughs> this creature kept me afloat until the Coast Guard boat arrived behind me. I would later learn what it was. It wasn't no shark. I was in a show called ABC Prime Time Live with John Quinones. He doesn't show what you do. Yes. You kids know nothing about it. Talk to your parents. Anyway, and, and I'm on this show where I say, I thought there was a shark beneath me in the water. Well, people were in, wrote into this show from all over the world. One man's letter stuck out above all the rest. His name was Morgan McWhorter. He was from Las Vegas, Nevada. He was on the bridge that day with his mother. And this is what he wrote to me. Kevin, I'm so very glad you're alive. I was standing less than two feet away from you when you jumped. Until this day, no one would tell me whether you lived or died. It's funny to be until right now. By the way, Kevin, there was no shark like you mentioned on the show. But there was a sea lion. And the people above looking down, believed to be keeping your body afloat until the Coast Guard boat arrived behind you. You call that what you want. That is my miracle, and I believe. Take a sip of water, boy. I stay believing. When I got to the hospital, when I entered the emergency ward, they shattered back, unable to move my legs. One of the foremost back surgeons on the West Coast was leaving that day. He opted to stay and do my surgery, the first and only of its particular kind. 
He saved me the ability to walk, stand, run, and do this. My point, my new friends, is Prescott, not Prescott. <laughs> my point, my new friends, you are my friends, right? Yeah. My point, my new friends, is that we all get to be here. And getting to be here is a privilege and a gift, no matter the pain you are in. I was born in pain. I was born in pain in a drug den. I was born and I was spent Kool-Aid, Coca-Cola, and Sour Milk for the first nine months of my diet because that's what my parents could steal. But here I am with all of you. And I am not the gift to you. You are all the gift to me. You're all gifts to each other. Let us take this community and let us rise into one that does not allow our children to die by suicide any longer. For those of you that have lost loved ones you love, I'm sorry. Let us move forward to the pain. I didn't say move on. We can't do that. We'll never move on. Let us celebrate their lives. But let us move forward to the pain to give back to those of this community like never before. And if we don't like someone, let us teach ourselves a lesson on how to be kind to them nonetheless. Right? Right. So ladies and gentlemen, my new friends, I'm going to end with this. It's a quote that means the absolute world to me. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why we call it the present. And if y'all don't believe me, Master Uwe from Kung Fu Panda said that. The talking turtles always know what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yesterday is history. That is why we call the Let us always and forever cherish this day and every waking moment of this gorgeous gift we all get to call life. From the bottom of my heart, from my gut, thank you very much for listening. I appreciate your time.
I want you to go to kevinheimstory.com slash resources. Three resources are there for you, and, to, and they're trainable resources. The Art of Wellness, which is a guide to better brain, mind, behavior, mental, and spiritual health. Um, and it is a science-based, evidence-informed tool, common sense tools for better brain health. It is yours. Take it. Teach it to someone. Share it with someone. Share it with a class. Educate people on it. It is very detailed, very specific. The art of wellness. If you don't like to use PowerPoints, if you don't like uh, that much information, you can go to youtube.com slash Kevin Hines. There is the playlist, The Art of Wellness. They're, they're, they're condensed into three to five minute videos, 12 videos, 10 steps to bettering your brain health today. People are saying from all over the world, as far as Peru, that these steps are helping change their life. And in six to nine months, their lives are dramatically affected in a positive way to change their lives forever. And some people are saying that this program is saving their life. It's used by the military, the FBI, law enforcement, every level of clinicians. It's used um, uh, by every scholastic level. Take it, it's yours, it's free. Right? Yeah, come on. Right? There, there, is a, there is a parent's guide and a teacher's guide to suicide prevention that is one of the most heavily downloaded in the field. It's written by my lovely wife, Margaret. Shout out to Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was written by her and some of the best suicidists in the field. Take it, it's yours, it's free. All right, and finally, there's a guide to the YouTube channel that is not self-serving, it makes no money, it's not monetized, it is for you. There are 314 videos, all mental, brain, mind, behavioral health help for people in pain, they're entertaining, they're educational, and they're a lot of fun, lots of YouTube and uh, real celebrities. Go check that out, because those videos, every single day, people are writing in that they're saving their lives. I want them to do something good for you. Thank you guys, I love you, I'm ready. To the town of Prescott, Arizona, thank you from the bottom of my heart for having me here today. What a warm, beautiful, and kind reception. What giving people who work tirelessly to make this night happen, and they're all right here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Arm to know, arm to know. Tell us about arm to know, what you guys do, why it's important, and why it matters to you. We put on events for youth and parents to bring in resources to educate and empower parents and youth to have hard conversations and to make those conversations easier because they're important. Anybody Amen. else? Beautifully. No. Amen. 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 You know what? You know what, guys? It takes a village. It That's takes a village and it's okay to talk. Yes. Okay. Talking yeah. about your talk. pain does not make you less than, less valuable. It does not make you small. It does not make you, uh, what it does, it makes you stronger. It doesn't make you weaker, it makes you stronger. And we are stronger together today. Amen. Yeah. All right, guys. Be well and be here tomorrow. YouTube.com slash Kevin Hines. Hit subscribe and click that bell. <laughs> How many times did you say that? You guys are amazing. Thank you.